Hey guys, I managed to clear the final stage of the Gloomy Armed Aberration quest and thought I'd just show everyone my loadout. Um, I don't really have any specialist characters against uh, Dark, uh, so I thought I'd just show you my brute force team and a special weapon that I have on F66X that helped me, uh, helped me to clear this mission. So firstly starting with A2. I've got her as one of my characters because two-handed sword users uh, equipped with a great sword get a attack buff and she's my best great sword user currently. So I just have that free handout virtuous treaty on her uh, as well as one of the dark memory weapons for pure stats. And then uh, this is basically just there for the ambush and a bit of extra health which I needed uh, for A2 to live. So I was quite lucky to have this weapon. But any health weapon in that third slot will be helpful. And then my memoirs are kind of insane, helping me get 100% crit rate and 231% crit damage with the attack up debris and a attack up uh, companion as well. On to Lavania. Uh, he's using the light uh, dark memory fists, which are only evolved to stage 4. So if you have these at stage 5, you should be able to clear this quite easily, uh, especially if you have EX Lavania. In terms of his other weapons, he's got his own Dark Memory Fist for pure stats, and then uh, this Cage Vigor Fist from Bloody Lavania, uh, because you're going to be on pretty low health, uh, and this is going to help you to do some crazy damage with this Caged Vigor Fist. Uh, passive, sorry. He's holding the Moogle Companion purely for some heals, 26% um, uh, heal instantly, it's really nice. Plus it's a light support. Should have it at level 50, but whatever. <laughs> it's got the attack up debris and memoirs for 100% crit rate and as much crit damage as I could get. Uh, you should be able to push more crit damage than I can because I only have these at level 4, which means I don't get the 20% ambush buff. I only got 9.3. Uh, so hopefully your Lavanias do more damage than mine. And then this is the, the character that carries this party. Um, and not so much because of the character herself, but because of the weapon she's holding. So if you have any staff user using this weapon, Thyrus, it helps you recover some HP and it cures the burn status ailment. Uh, so that's super helpful. The only other ways you can really do this are with character skills. I'm not sure of too many other weapons that can cure a status ailment. I know there might be one or two more. Uh, but basically you want to be... Uh, you don't really have the time to build up character skill gauge and then sort of like by then by the time the gauge is full the burn's already done its damage so it's really nice having it on a weapon uh, and then if you need to get rid of the burn again uh, F66X's character skill can help you do that but I managed to down the boss uh, before a second burn happened very lucky to have this staff um, this is the one from Bloody Saru it's got a uh, big toughness boost but also this um, recover of HP which is helpful just to keep her standing and then this is just for big HP as well as well as a bit of defense and her memoirs are 100% for HP they're all HP up and HP 20% uh, memoirs there so you can see she's nearly got 300,000 health put the HP debris on her as well uh, and then just an attack up companion I really should have had a light support um, oh wait, I do, with uh, the Moogle, forgot about, forgot about that one. <laughs> okay, so that was my team. Uh, the MVP was definitely this weapon, Thyrus. Um, it's really good, if you manage to draw or pick up Final Fantasy XIV Rion, and you've got one hanging around, definitely consider using it uh, for this quest. If we go into the quest itself, uh, it'll help to clarify why I picked the stuff I did. Uh, so if I just, for example, go quest 5 and I click on the boss. So 30% damage up from characters to whom defense up status is applied. That was another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, increase all allies defense uh, for 30 seconds. 27%. So 30% at max. So this is actually boosting my attack as well as my defense. So Thyrus is the perfect weapon for this, um, for this challenge because it's going to heal the burn. It's going to recover your health a bit and boost your attack by boosting all your party's defense. It's a crazy, crazy weapon. 
then you can see the extra damage from 20% uh, damage from characters who are two hand sword users and have a two hand sword. And then the last one isn't important for my run uh, because F66X's damage is negligible, so that 20% damage boost wasn't really used by me. Okay, so basically use this weapon. This is the MVP if you don't have uh, some good tanky dark memory characters. Alrighty guys, let's get into the run. So uh, basically just to open up, I'm just going to let my party do their thing and auto attack. You might notice that I don't have the battle sped up and that's because you can actually fit in more auto attacks uh, when you're not sped up. And that's going to help me stall out some time uh, for my weapon skills to fully charge. So the boss has already applied the burn and you can see that's chipping away at my health uh, every, every turn essentially. So what I want to do first is get my weapon skill off with F66X, heal the burn, and then use the defense up skill on F66X, because that's going to boost my attack in this event, uh, as I mentioned earlier. So here we go, F66X boosting defense and therefore attack. Then into A2 to help uh, with a small attack up before my EX Lavania uh, uses his attacks. And he's doing a lot of damage, which is nice. Could be doing more if I had fully evolved that weapon. And then using the Moogle at the end for two reasons. Firstly to heal, which is nice, but mainly to help charge my character skills. So we get it off there. It's good. We're back to nearly 100,000 health with everyone. Now, because I'm not burnt, Here I don't I need to use that weapon skill again with F66X. I can go straight into the defense up skill, and then back into A2, and then finish off uh, with their character skills, two damage dealers. A2 is getting some nice chip damage in here. Character skill will do quite a lot after Lavania attacks. You're really had really A2 off. character skill. And I still had Lavania's character skill on the bank, so I've, I've cleared that very easily using Thyrus there. So that's my clear. Super happy with that one. So use Thyrus. Great weapon. Catch you guys in another video.